it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So today we're going to be putting together Cindy Lou Who. She is only 22 inches and um, normally I would say that you know we do mostly 30 inches um, and lately you know I had been doing a lot of 48 inch characters but um, she is going to go with the rest of my Christmas decor and so with the Grinch being about I think he was 36 inches um, she needed to be much smaller so that's why she's at 22 inches but it's a great sort of like starter project if you want to you know see if you want to do this and i had a few mistakes on here or a few edits that i would want to make so this is a good one to kind of learn and i'll talk through it and see if you guys agree with what the changes that i want to make so with that being said let's start working on her she's obviously not doesn't have that many pieces but the way she was sized, we had a lot of cuts in the background. So that was a little bit um, annoying for me anyway. I didn't like it. <laughs> so let's take her off, uh, take off all the pieces, and then um, we'll do the black background first um, because everything's going to sit on top of that. So we need to do that. Um, and I always kind of just piece it together just to make sure I have all my pieces. That's why I kind of like put it together, make sure everything's good. And then also, I mean, it gets, it gives you a good preview of what's to come. So I didn't like, you know, her hair is like in little pieces. I just, this is not my favorite character. And I also just don't think she looks as cute as all the other characters, but that's just me. All right. So here's our... I'm gonna lay her down, all her pieces, and we're gonna talk through that little thing. <laughs> so I'm sure you recognize this image, um, I, but I do wanna make some changes to it, so as soon as I can get this down. All right, so let's, I'm gonna move that out of the way for now. Okay, sorry, everything's kinda of moving a little bit. All right, so, um, I had issues with, do you see how it's ripped right there? I feel like I, I didn't want to recut it, but I'm tempted to just, um, cut off that piece. Okay. So this is what she looks like. Um, oops, hold on. Let me change my screen so that I can see to make sure she looks right. Um, okay. So this piece goes over her head what's going on here okay so I think it goes like this and maybe I just haven't really watched the Grinch I don't understand the little antenna thingies she's got going on over there and all right and this little ornament bulb thing. Okay, so this is this is the background, okay? So what we wanna do is we wanna flip everything over because we wanna tape it from behind. So I just know I'm gonna have issues with this. <laughs> All right, so I'm flipping that over, flipping this over. This is where I'm really, really bad. So I'm gonna flip this over and I believe this goes here. All right, okay. So let's start taping this down. Um, I just use regular tape and two pieces at one time. So like this, I'm gonna lift this up, push it up against this one, and then tape it down. So that way the seams are minimal. I mean, you're still gonna have it. Make sure that your tape doesn't extend over the black because you're gonna be able to see this clear piece of tape. So you see how clear, it, how visible it is here. All right, so tape that down. We're gonna go tape this piece down. I mean, for being 22 inches, she had a lot of cuts. I mean, it was just, I just, I don't know. You can always tell when I'm not in love with, with, with a character or a project. <laughs> I complain about it the whole time, so I'm sorry. I'm not gonna be so negative. All right, so this piece, again, you want to, uh, this is another reason why I like slicing it in um, 
flush squares because you see how we have the four corners meet up, these two pieces cut up, um, meet up, you just push it up against each other and you know where it goes. Um, I was watching some other crafters, um, bigger, more well-known crafters than myself, obviously. Um, and they sort of just take a square and start slicing, taking the same square and like slicing it here and there. Um, I just don't, I think you can see more seams that way and you're not, it's harder to piece it together. Like here, I know where everything goes. Like everything butts up against each other and it's easy to, easier to piece together. Just my humble opinion. <laughs> All right, so let's get this down. I'm gonna get this over here. Now this piece, I'm tempted to just remove it, but I'm gonna tape it down for now and we'll talk through it when we get there. Okay, so she's all taped up. You see, it doesn't look all that great, but it doesn't matter because this side is gonna have glue and it's gonna go down to our foam board. So this is our real side. And now, do you see how her face has a lot of cuts? So that's why I like cutting out another, um, it's basically her face, but contoured. So it has no eyeballs, no nothing. Um, and that way it's gonna sit in between the face and the cut up black background. So we had, so let's say her face goes right around here. So, you're gonna actually have a seam through the nose, through the eyes a little bit. But if you have this down, all those seams go away and it's gonna look more flawless because you have this extra piece of black right here. So on this one, what you wanna do is you wanna take her face, flip it over and use, um, I use the tape runner. And because the skin color is so light, that glue is gonna be horrible for this. So you just wanna get it down and then put it on here. So now that's perfect. So here's her face. So her hair, let's see, it goes like this. And we're just piecing it together. What you don't want to do is you don't want to glue everything down right now because um, you, want, you want to give yourself a chance to move things around and fix things before you make it permanent. If you start taping things down as you go along, you're going to, I mean, inevitably, you're going to find yourself at one point that you wish you didn't do it. Um, because you would want to move something, but you have no room because you already taped down the other parts. <laughs> so don't do it all right so let's see i am so bad at this um does it go like no it goes like there how many different ways can you piece that together <laughs> before you finally get it okay um here are her fingers and it's always so difficult for me because we're doing it sideways, but that's the only way that you can really see the whole thing. All right, so here's her big ornament. So this is a good one to start with. It's, you know, not a lot of pieces, but I just don't love, I don't know, I don't love it. <laughs> okay, so right here is a big seam, and I don't understand this little piece. I guess I'll just keep it. I'm gonna move it up to cover the seams a little bit. It's gonna look a little bit off, but I think it's okay. All right, so that covers this seam running across. Um, let's see, her little hair, she's got How does this go? And then 
she has three little fingers over here. Let's see. Oh my gosh, I can't get them out. Okay. Um, where are my tools? All right, let's see. Okay, and then we have just a few more pieces and then that's it. So she's got one more piece of her hair up here. And one more piece down here. And you see how I have that rip right there? I'm tempted to just cut it. So I'm gonna do it right now actually. No one's going to know better. Okay. <laughs> so I cut that off. Here's her hair. She's got two little ribbon stuff. Okay. And then her eyes. Her eyes look so weird. I really don't like her face. Um, I feel like there's not enough detail. She looks like a really poorly draw drawn um, cartoon. Is it just me? <laughs> All right, and here's her nose. Okay, so I feel like everything looks in place that we can start taping down. So let's tape down this first. So I'm just gonna take one of my big double-sided pieces of tape. I'm gonna take this out, flip it over, and just tape it down. Now with the glitter cardstock, you could, if you wanted to, use glue. Um, I know I don't, I just hate using glue. All right, so let's see if I can pull this up. And then for the bottom right here, I will just use scrap paper and I'm gonna take this and make sure I get the edges so it stays down. Okay. And I'm just getting rid of the webbing from the tape. It's a lot easier to fix it here. It's kind of like, it, it reminds me of spider webs. Um, it's easier to fix it here than it is on the black. So put it down. Okay, let's put down this red. So I'm gonna actually, let's see. I'm gonna heat up my glue gun because we're gonna need it for our black background anyway. But I feel like it might be easier to glue down this red piece right here. Let's see, let's see what this looks like. I need to fix this a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna do this piece next. So you wanna just do little pieces and um, just make your way around the whole project and tape it down. And I've had some of my, because I do demos to show people, so I'll, you know, I, I have some of them in the back right here. Those are my demos. Um, I've had some of them for a year. I take them to my Michaels classes. So the double-sided tape works really, really well. I haven't had any issues, and people touch it and look at it, so... Now when you're placing it down, as long as you don't push it down, there's still wiggle room, even though it's touching. So just don't push it down until you're ready. All right, let's do 
do this one next. So when you pick this one up, just make sure you get all the webbing out. Same thing with this piece. We're just going to tape it down. All right. Um, so for her skin color, I use the same thing that I use for my princesses. So it's there's two different brands. I have and I've used them both, thinking that they were the same. One is Craftsmith, and the other one is Craft. Dang it. I forgot but one is called the blush romance pad the other one is called the blush wedding pad or something like that um, they're usually $20 at Michael's it's in a big pad and I wait till it goes on sale for about $5 four to five dollars I can get the whole thing um, so I'll stock up when that happens okay so these little pieces right here I'm just gonna take one at a time flip it over and try to get enough tape on it. Okay, so we need to tape this down. Um, well, it would help if I turned on the glue gun and not just plug it in. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm gonna do this red part next. So let's turn this around. Ah, of course. So I'm out of tape. I'm going to use my double-sided tape from here then. So remember how I was saying you don't want the tape to go over? So this little tape over here is, is going over. Just fold it into itself and then you're fine. Sorry. <laughs> All right, let's get this. get her neck down. Oh, right. And out of tape. So this one's definitely over. No worries. Just peel it off and then fold the excess over. All right, so that's down. Let's get that out of the way. Let's put the hair down. Um, actually, we can put the little ribbon pieces down. Okay. 
So let me know if you want to see any other characters. But you know that we have, let's see, a Nutcracker. We also have, um, I did a Santa tray, snowball fight, indoor snowball fight. Um, I don't know what else we could do for Christmas. Um, so if you have any suggestions, suggestions, please let me know. Totally open. Or if you have a special request, something that you're going to do, we can do the same project. And then that way you can learn because you still have to recreate it within Design Space. So you don't get a freebie by just um, accessing my project and doing it. So that's the one positive to Design Space flaw. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let me move all these things out of the way. We're almost done. We just gotta do the face and then the, the foam board. So let's do these two over here. Okay, so now let's look at her face. I'm gonna flip over her eyes. Her face is already down. But I'm gonna use the glue gun because there's the black in between and that way I can make sure that this is in the right place. Let me put more glue. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we got a little bit over there. So we have that down. And then the hair, I'm just going to flip over and add our tape down. And again, you just want to make sure that your tape doesn't extend over the cardstock. And that's what's nice about this tape is it's so pliable. You can just move it without issue. Okay, so now let's put it down. And put it down gently so that you can still have wiggle room to move it. So we just have the nose, so I'm going to flip it over. The nose and the eyes. I'm going to leave the eyes because I think at this point you know how to do everything and we're going to get to the foam board. Let me just get the nose on so I don't lose this piece. And you see how I'm just like pushing the tape? It's that easy. Okay, so her nose is down. 
She's got little pieces of hair that I'm just going to pick up and put down later because it's just three, four pieces left. Oh my gosh. I can't pick it up. Okay. Where's my little thing here? This little tool is so cool. It has like a little tack right there. So it's awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna move these little pieces over. She's basically done. So I'm going to move all this stuff out and we're gonna do the foam board. Okay. So with our foam board, what you wanna do is, I do use the foam board from the Dollar Tree because it's a dollar and it's awesome. So see, she's all done. So we're gonna put her down. And actually, I might have a small piece that I can use already for her. Will she fit? Oh, perfect. So I'm left over from another project. So I'm gonna put her down like this. Okay. I am not gonna be supporting these little black things because the it's too thin and I'm not gonna be able to get a good clean cut. So I want to make sure I'm gonna cut. So what you wanna do is you wanna use um, a white crayon. So, and I'm sorry, it's kinda not focused right now, but I'm basically going to draw an outline and I'm going to draw it straight down because I want this to, um, to stay. It's gonna be an extra piece of foam but it will give her stability to stand propped up. So we're gonna do that. Go all the way around. I'm not gonna worry about this piece. I'm just gonna go around here. And right here between her hair and this space, there's a little bit of black. I'm not gonna cut in between. I'm gonna draw it over here so the foam is gonna stick right there. I want just enough to support this piece. So I'm gonna pull it up so you can see what I did. Um, yeah, so you can kind of see the outline. I'm gonna cut inside this line and um, and then glue her down. So, so let's do it. You want to try to do it in one like smooth continuous cut because it'll give you a really, so I'm not saying the whole thing in one smooth cut, but I'm going to start like right here for instance and I'm going to try to make it all the way to the bottom. So you can see, I'm just gonna pull out this piece and I'm gonna flip it over. So when you don't have a clean cut, you know you didn't, you didn't make it through at some point, but yeah, it's just a little piece. Cause you, um, you wanna keep the foam board intact because that's what's gonna give you stability. So you wanna make sure that when you're cutting, if you need to turn it around to, to make, um, to cut it through, you should. All right, so here I'm at the bottom and I just wanna get a good clean cut. So you can see I'm not really, I'm just trying to get inside the lines and enough to prop her up. That's all I care about.
can see this does not look like Cindy Lou Who, but it's enough to prop her up. So. So she's gonna stand like this. See, that's gonna give us the little straight edge that we need. And then that's all that there is. So now all we need to do is start gluing her down. So lift her up, glue down some of this part. Know that you have excess right here, so you don't wanna glue there, right? You wanna be really, really careful. Oh, how did I, hold on. I missed a whole section right here. Give me a second, let me do this. So we're gonna glue down this part right here. So I'm tempted to, let's see, just run this right here. You want just a starting point. So glue that down and then I'm gonna turn her over because I'm gonna lift this up and I'm gonna start gluing her down. So you see, I'm gonna start gluing here and being really careful. Oh my gosh, I did it again. Okay. I'm moving her so much. Okay. I think that's down. I'm going to lift it up like this and tape that or glue that down. And turn it over here a little bit and get this part down. And before I glue her down, I moved her again. Oh my gosh, this is a crazy project. I'm going to cut just a little bit right here because I can see it coming out. So. Oh my gosh, I must have moved her a lot because I have her whole head over here. So give me a second. I'm just going to trim this again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is on the fly editing because look at the back. Oh my gosh, I like barely covered her. But it's okay. We don't need it. She's gonna be standing up like this, propped up against the tree. Oh, I know, you can't see that. She's just gonna be standing like this. Okay, so let's glue her down some more because clearly she's not glued down. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off my glue gun because that's all we need from that. Now, to fix her up, like her hair is sticking up right here, I'm gonna now take the mini glue dots and I'm just gonna get it down. So I'm gonna take like a little dot. Okay, I'm gonna put it behind. And get one right 
there. Okay, so just to keep in mind, the only thing we have left is we still need to do her eyes. But all right, so now you can see me up there. There she is. <laughs> She's gonna be cute. She's gonna be standing up against the Christmas tree. All right, let me know what you think. Um, see, I'm tempted to trim right here, right here. I'm gonna do it because I don't like it flopping around like that. Um, so I know I'm making so many edits to her. Let me grab the scissors. There we go. I wanted to do that from the beginning anyway. <laughs> All right, so she's all done except for the eyes. I will show you what that looks like on my Instagram or Facebook post. Let me know what you think. All right, bye guys.